Hello grade 10, welcome. In this video, you will learn about the different types of plane boundaries, which are differentiated by the type of movement they exhibit. Now let's explore each boundary. Tara! Our discussion will focus on the learning competency describe the different types of plate boundaries. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to 1. Identify types of plate boundaries and number 2. Describe each plate boundary. Previously, you learned that the Earth's crust is divided into segments of land masses called plates, and these plates move constantly in various ways known as plate tectonics. When plate tectonics occur, lithospheric plates move in different ways creating different types of plate boundaries as shown in the arrows in the map. There are plates that move towards each other like the Philippine plate and the Eurasian plate. There are also plates that move away from each other like the Nazca plate and the Pacific plate. And there are also plates that slide past each other like the North American plate and the Cocos plate. Now let's discuss further the three types of plate boundaries produced by plate tectonics. We have the convergent plate boundary, the divergent plate boundary, and the transform fault boundary. To clearly explain how each plate boundary works, remember that there are two types of crust. We have the oceanic crust and the continental crust. Therefore, the edge of each plate may either be oceanic or continental. The first type is the convergent boundary, which happens when crusts come together or move towards each other, as you can see in the arrows shown in the illustration. There are three types of convergent plate boundaries based on the type of crust that converge. We have the oceanic continental crust convergence, oceanic oceanic crust convergence, and the continental continental crust convergence. Oceanic continental convergence formed when oceanic crust collide with continental crust. When collision occur, the denser oceanic crust subducts beneath the continental crust. Subduction of oceanic crust leads to the formation of trenches and the formation of volcanoes. Oceanic oceanic convergence formed when two oceanic plates collide with each other. During collision, the denser plate sinks below the lighter plate and eventually forms dark, heavy basaltic volcanic islands, just like the Philippines. Marianas Trench is also formed by converging two oceanic plates. Continental continental convergence formed when two continental plates collide with each other. Since continental crust is less dense, the collision between two continental crusts leads to the formation of mountain ranges, just like the Himalayan mountains. The next type of plate boundary is the divergent plate boundary. This happens when plates pull away or separate from each other, as you can see in the arrows shown in the illustration. There are two types of divergent plate boundary. We have the oceanic-oceanic divergence, which leads to the creation of mid-ocean ridges. Divergent boundaries are the constructive boundaries because the rising magma creates the new oceanic crust. One common example is the mid-ocean ridge that stretches around the world. The other one is the continental-continental divergence. This type of divergent plate boundary leads to the formation of rift valleys and will later on become new ocean basin. Examples of continental-continental divergence are the African Rift Valley and the Red Sea which was formed by the divergence of African Plate and Arabian Plate. The last type of plate boundary is the transform fault boundary. This happens when plates slide horizontally past each other.
One famous landform produced by transformed fault boundary is the 1,200 km long San Andreas Fault. Now let's check your understanding. Direction, name what type of plate boundary is shown in the picture. Name it. That's correct. Transform fault boundary. Very good. This is convergent boundary. And there you have it. Divergent boundary. And that ends our lesson. Congratulations. Thank you for watching.